suitable to prepare the analysis of these bearings we have to classify this into two kinds or there are two methods of the solution for this analysis okay the first kind of solution is for infinitely long journal bearings and the solution we are getting from sommerfeld solution sommerfeld equations and other is infinitely short journal bearings of weak solutions and under the, this analysis we have to analyze the parameter like pressure distributions with its dimensional form and load carrying capacity of this bearing okay so the name implies infinitely long or infinitely short on that basis long or short we have to distinguish them okay so in this infinitely long bearings you see this is the kind of infinitely long bearings in which it is a general bearing whose length is greater than or equal to two times the diameter of its journal means this length is always two times of this diameters okay so this l by d ratio length to diameter of of this journal ratio is always greater than 2 okay or in simple form we can tell length is always greater than two times of this diameters okay <laughs> in this infinitely long journal bearings we have to make some assumptions okay as the bearing is much wider or okay in this kind of bearings we have to make some assumptions in which the length is always greater than this diameters second assumption is there can be a little or negligible axial flow so the value of flow q is equal to 0 the bearing is assumed infinitely long the pressure variation in axial direction is always zero and the density of lubricant remains constant and the normal velocity is zero so from the above assumption we have to apply it to write reynolds equations and we analyze this infinitely journal bearings okay similarly we are having this infinitely short bearings okay in figure we are seen this infinitely short bearings so in this similar as kind of assumptions in which length is always length is always less than diameters okay so length is always less than this diameters in which the axial flow q and end leakage are larger okay the pressure induced circumferential flow is very small and it can be neglected while the fluid is considered as incompressible and then the density of this lubricant remain always the constant so with the help of these assumptions we have to apply this for reynolds equations and from this we can analyze this bearing okay so in this bearings we are seen here <laughs> so 
So this length is always less than this diameter of this bearing and this pressure distribution of this pressure is always equals for both the sides and the maximum pressure in this fluid film for shorter of bearings are to be analyzed from this equations so here we are seeing this for long bear long bearings this for short bearings okay this hydrodynamic general bearings are always <coughs> again analyze from this raymond and boyd methods okay in this for this bearings of finite length there is a, no exact solution and therefore need to establish the relation between this various variable like design variable and performance variable so in this variable we have to analyze for load carrying capacity clearance minimum field thickness etc and some dimensionless parameters so this kind of bearings we are always <coughs> seen in our general applications so from this lecture we can conclude in this analysis of this hydrodynamic general bearings we must have to decide first either the bearing is long or either the bearing is short and on that basis we have to make some assumptions and we have to apply these assumptions for this renold equations and we have to solve it